What? Imposter found! Imposter found! If you want to know what you. Hey, mom, have you heard this song? Yell that thing about. <laughs> Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Zero never tasted so good. People will do despicable things to get their hands on a fortune. Can this be our little secret? Reforms the Watchful Eye. New episodes Tuesdays. Stream on Hulu. If you guys have seen our short live stream on the new update, you've probably noticed that a lot of new features have been added to the new Roblox Doors update. Date, but there was actually a huge secret that we ended up passing hey, yo, right by. And yes, it does have something to do with the infamous A60 NT. Are you excited? Well, smash that like and subscribe, and let's reveal this major secret. Honestly, I have no idea how we even got past right this, but apparently at door 60, we do have a major secret. Of course, you do need to use the mid-game run shop, especially in order to collect the skeleton key, and you do need a couple of lock picks as well for this to work. Luckily, you can get all of these items through this mid-run shop right here, so that's actually very convenient. Now, as you approach the infirmary room, you guys are gonna notice the skeleton door that is right in front of me. And we do have the skeleton key in order to put it in the skeleton door. Now, don't do this, because this is actually actually a secret trap. Now obviously if you do use the skeleton key on the skeleton door it's gonna be a one use item and it's gone forever. And I guess you could use this door in order to get some infinite health especially from this plant which can actually help you out quite a bit. As you can see your heart beats stronger than before. But if you can hang on to your items all the way up until door 60 as we're in front of right now with those same items that I did specify earlier you are gonna notice some of these rooms are looking very weird but they all always do spawn right within room 60 for some reason. Well, right behind this cabinet, there's actually a little secret passageway that you can go right behind. A lot of people tend to walk right past this part. If you do use a lighter, you can see that there is going to be a little bit of a maze in order to get back in this area. And I guess we do have a pretty interesting picture as well. This painting doesn't even have a title for some reason. That's kind of weird, but okay. But you guys can also notice that there's going to be a locked gate right in front front of us. Now how are we going to be able to unlock this gate? Well if we do backtrack out of the maze right outside of the room once again and if you guys go to the next room it is going to lead into one of those huge double basement rooms. This is always going to spawn after room 60. Now obviously I did have to have some lighting on in order to show you guys clearly because you can't really see this very well if the video was very dark. Essentially all you have to do is try to find the switch to open up the normal gate. And I guess you also gotta run into Screech as well. But once this gate lever has been pulled, not only is the regular door gonna be opened in which most players would probably progress through the game, now you're gonna backtrack all the way back to that other gate once again. And as you guys can see, the gate has been lifted thanks to the lever. Now here is where things get very interesting. We got a door that's labeled A-00 and we got a skeleton key lock as well as two lock picks to pick from. That's why you guys need to have at least two lock picks and the skeleton key in order to unlock this door. But of course, what's gonna happen once we unlock this door? Is it gonna be some huge secret or something like that? Honestly, I have no idea, but let's find out. Oh jeez, here we go, we're gonna open the door and see what's going on here. Continuing run overview. Continuing run in 11 seconds. So it looks like it's going to pause your normal gameplay and it's going to teleport you to another game of some sort. I have no idea. This is actually pretty interesting. Whoa, what the heck? This is called the rooms? Detour, I think I'm lost into the rooms achievement. Bro, this is actually pretty crazy. Now, if you guys don't know what this game is, essentially this is called The Rooms, and it's an old game made by Nico Rocks. It's actually the game that firstly inspired Doors as well. I mean, the graphics certainly looks like that.